Hi, it's Kerry. Today I'm showing you my hippopotamus and flamingo collections. I really like the hippopotamus, especially if it has a wide open jaw. The flamingos are amazing colours, which is caused by the food they eat. More about that later. There is a surprise ending today. The hippopotamus is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa. It is a large, thick-skinned, semi-aquatic African mammal with massive jaws and large canine tusks. Hippopotamus teeth sharpen themselves as they grind together. Their teeth can grow up to 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. Its name means river horse. Give a thumbs up if you like the hippopotamus or flamingos. Please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year by subscribing. Can you tell me what makes flamingos feathers the color pink or orange? Pink flamingos are tall wading birds with mainly pink, orange or scarlet plumage which means feathers and long legs and neck. They live in shallow lakes, mangrove swamps and sandy islands of Africa, Asia, America and Europe. There are six species of flamingos. Flamingos make nests from mud. They usually lay only one egg. Both parents take care of the egg which hatches after 30 days. Baby flamingos stay in the nest for a few weeks before gathering with other young flamingos. They don't have a curved bill. It becomes curved after a few months. The body of the hippopotamus is well suited for aquatic life. Have a look. Their eyes, ears and nostrils are located on top of their head. So they're able to see, hear and breathe while mostly submerged. A clear membrane covers and protects their eyes while allowing them to see underwater. Their nostrils close to keep water out and they can hold their breath for several minutes. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Flamingos eat algae, which is an aquatic plant, tiny shellfish, plankton and brine shrimp that are rich in carotenoids, which is why these birds are pink or orange in colour. If they ate a different diet, they would lose their brilliant colour. Flamingos like to stand on one leg when they want to rest with the other one tucked up under its body. Hippos live in groups with a male or bull which is in charge and several females and babies. Hippos can run fast and be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. In the evening, hippopotamuses leave the water to feed. As herbivores, they feed on short grass and fruit that they find. They feed for about six hours a night, consuming up to 68 kilos or 150 pounds of food. When a flamingo wants to eat, they put their beak into the water upside down. Their mouth fills with the muddy water and any plant or animal material remains behind once they pump the muddy water out of their mouth. Tiny hair-like filters along the beak called lamellae sift food from the water. This is called filter feeding. Flamingos are social birds. They live in colonies of sometimes thousands. This helps them to avoid predators and maximizes food intake and is better for nesting. These are from Playmobil, this little set of six. They're rather cute, a bit on the small side though. The male is called a bull, the female a cow, and the baby a calf. 
When feeding, they may travel several kilometers to reach an adequate grazing area. If hippos spend too much time out of the water, their skin gets burned and they become dehydrated. Hippopotamuses love the water, but they can't swim. They're much too heavy. After all, a male hippo can weigh up to 3,600 kilograms, which is 8,000 pounds. Instead, hippos float around, kicking off from the bottom of the river to move themselves. When they're in the water, they can't feel the weight of their huge frame. These big animals don't have sweat glands. A red liquid comes out of their skin. It looks like blood, but it's not. It coats their hairless skin and keeps them cool. Though they feed on land, hippos do many other activities in the water, including mating and birthing. Groups of 10 to 30 hippos live together with one dominant male. able to fly. During migration when they are travelling to a new habitat they fly up to 37 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour and travel distances of over 300 miles or nearly 500 kilometers. The flamingo's backward bending knee is actually its ankle. The knee is out of sight further up the leg and covered by feathers. In the wild, flamingos live 20 to 30 years and sometimes over 50 years in captivity. They're an awesome sight in flight. They fly in large flocks with their necks and legs outstretched. <laughs> the pygmy hippopotamuses are semi-aquatic mammals. Their skin is thick, smooth, hairless and dark brown to black in colour. Their body is barrel shaped and they have a broad head and a large mouth. Their legs are short and stocky and they have four toes on each of their feet. Their toes are spread out and have sharp nails without webbing. They have small ears and large round nostrils. The pygmy hippopotamus weighs around one fifth of its enormous cousin's weight, the common hippopotamus. The pygmy hippopotamus calf. The mums give birth to one calf birth the calf weighs between four and a half and six kilograms which is about 10 to 14 pounds and they can swim almost immediately. The calf is weaned when it's about six to eight months old. Young pygmy hippos can be attacked by pythons and crocodiles. At birth the baby can weigh between 50 and 110 pounds or between 23 and 50 kilos. That is big. A female hippo only gives birth every two years. The baby nurses from its mother either on land or underwater for the first one and a half years. When it dives, it learns to close its nose and ears to block out the water. At five to seven years old, the hippo calf is fully mature. This is a mini hippopotamus. In reality, the hippopotamus can be quite a dangerous creature. They have powerful jaws and sharp teeth that can crush a crocodile or split a boat in two. A male hippo will attack to defend its territory. The females are more likely to be aggressive when their young are threatened. The word flamingo comes from the Spanish word flamenco which came from an earlier Latin word, flamma, meaning flame or fire, referring to its brilliant colours. The greater flamingo is the largest species at up to one and a half metres or five feet tall and weighing up to three and a half kilograms or eight pounds. The lesser flamingo is about two thirds of that size. Such spectacular birds. To feed their babies, flamingos make a special liquid called crop milk in their digestive tract. They spit this up and feed it to their babies. Both males and females can make the milk. During the dry season, the dominant male chooses a partner and then the other males fight each other for the remaining females. 
eight months after conception, at the height of the wet season, female hippos give birth to one calf, either on land or underwater. Afterwards, mothers leave the herd for a short period of time to bond with their calves underwater. After a few weeks, the calves finally exit the water to feed on grass. The plural word for hippopotamus can be either hippopotamuses or hippopotami. The plural form of flamingo is flamingos, which can be spelled either with just an S or an ES on the end. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon. Remember to stay for the fun ending. Subscribe, click the colourful super fun reviews button. To watch any of the videos, just click or press on the one that you would like to see. Thanks once again.